darkness grew to obscure my baffled mind. It had been a year since I felt this way, returning like the plumage of a bird. I stared vacantly from my car window at the fog that rolled in like smoke of death. My mind wandered towards the soulless city. I hated myself for the pillaged thoughts. Yet the urge was too intense to control. I was restless in not liking humans, as I was an unrelenting loner, preferring my company to others. I remember specialists and doctors recommended to my worried parents, yet there was nothing wrong emotionally, or mentally, or psychologically, with me, the boy who had no sincere friends, and who would spend hours with collections of long playing records and 45s, rather than playing with neighborhood boys. I wonder if I should walk city streets that still smells of perversion and sickness with the old men with infectious smiles getting pleasure from plaid skirts and blouses. Two ladies past the car talking murder and bodies that the police cannot find. The two short-skirted women possess legs that haunts me like a provoking exchange as the darkness began to cloud my mind and visions began to call me by name. That is when the shameless urges began.